Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Melissa. I am so excited. I am sorry that I haven't been here in about a week and a half. I've had a lot going on health wise and I will get to at the end of the video. I am also asking for help and I want you to know right away that it's not about money or donations. It's about health related issues. But again, that'll be at the end of the video. So let's get right into this video. All right guys, so I get asked quite often what I use in my hair and I want you guys to know this is not sponsored, but I'm gonna let you guys know. I think I've shared it before, I'm not sure, but all I do is I wash it, get out, brush it. Sometimes I don't brush it, it depends. And I use this really cheap conditioner. Now this is just VO5, it's 95 cents at any store, maybe any store, I'm not sure where you guys live, so it depends. And I just put a decent amount in my hair, let it dry. Now when it does dry, it will dry sometimes a little bit hard. So when it gets hard, then I will just scrunch it up to make the hardness go away and it just leaves like the curl, I don't know. I don't know if it's healthier for your hair, so don't quote me on that but it has to be healthier than hairspray and mousse. Also this week, my parents came out for dinner, which was really nice. They usually don't ever leave the house because my dad loves to be home. They came over, I cooked steak and homemade mashed potatoes, corn, and we had salad. It was a great time just talking and hanging out. Kids came back and me and Malia went and had lunch at Outback. Then we went to Rural King to look around and I haven't been there in so long. Like it's been almost a year, I think, since I've been in Rural King. So I got to see the baby chickens and the little rabbits. They're so cute. Had a lot of fun with her. It's always nice bonding with your children, even if it's one-on-one -on -one or all of them, but it's like a special moment and I love those moments. It was a lot of fun. All right, so we got a new addition to the family. And if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, you would have seen Malia got a new puppy. She is adorable. She's a golden retriever, very good dog. And just so you guys know, our kids asked for puppies and the deal was you take care of your dog. You have to clean up after your dog. You have to take your dog out. And when they go to dad's house, they take their puppy or their dog with them. And I'm very proud of Malia and Ethan. They're doing an amazing job. They take them out all the time. They clean up after them. I am beyond happy. So I know it looks like we have a lot of animals, but they're doing very well and being responsible dog owners. So I've had quite a few appointments that I told you guys about last week. I went to the heart doctor. I got to wear the heart monitor for 24 hours. I have not got the results back yet. I also had to get a mammogram down in an ultrasound. I got a call back a couple days later and I have to go for more testing on the right side. They found a 21 millimeter. I can't even say the name, but I have to do an MRI and possible biopsy. So please keep me in your prayers with that. Hopefully it's not cancerous and we're good to go. Also, I took my son to the GI doctor because he's got some stomach issues as well. So we go back March 6th for his results. I completely forgot to pick up the camera. Sometimes I'm just so in the moment or preoccupied that I don't film everything, but I'm hoping he's gonna be okay. I hope it's nothing serious. It's kind of like the same issues I have, but we need to make sure it's not anything in death like Crohn's or colitis. So March 6th, we go for those results, guys, and I'll let you know as well with those updates. So I started a new medication and it was called Fetazima and it's for depression. Boy, it did not work. I was getting severe migraines every day, also mood swings and just this anger that like I couldn't control and I could feel it and I was like, Rah! but I decided to call the doctor and get back on a medication I was on years ago and it's called Celexa and I feel amazing. I feel better. I don't feel so edgy and I don't have any more headache. Also guys, I have great news to tell you. I am down to three cigarettes a day. Now, I can't give myself all the credit because like I said, I started Shantex. Now Shantex is this, it looks like this. So for the first week, you start one pill in the morning and then you go into two pills. So one in the morning, one at night. And as you can see, I'm pretty down up to here. So I'm gonna have to call my doctor probably and get a, another continuing pack because I'm only down to three cigarettes, but I'm very proud of myself. And on top of that, I no longer have a smoker's cough, not a cough or smoker. You will notice sometimes I say things wrong. I also pronounce things wrong. It's just who I am, but I, I actually did notice it as I was editing it and I was like, eh, I'm gonna leave it to who I am. But I'm not coughing, my throat doesn't hurt anymore. So I'm really excited for the journey and I'm almost there to be smoke free. All right. Right, guys so I went also to the GI doctor and so frustrating I get there and I'm explaining to him that my abdomen's been hurting and I can't eat very well and I don't know what's going on so I was talking to I believe she was the nurse practitioner maybe or just his other doctor that is you know with him 
So he comes in and he doesn't even address me really. He addresses the other lady and he doesn't even look at me. He's like, okay, so what's wrong with her? Like, hello, I'm sitting right here. And he practically tells her there's nothing he can do for me, but oh, schedule another colonoscopy, we'll do that. At this point, this is the second time he's told me there's nothing he can do for me. Not once did he examine me, not once did he even apply pressure to my abdomen to see if it was tender or what was going on. It was like, he didn't even care. So I was beyond mad when I left that place. I was almost in tears because I've been dealing with this for a really long time. And it's frustrating. I want to be able to do more things and not have to always worry about going to the bathroom. So I'm going to be looking for another GI doctor or I don't know, I'm going to talk to my primary care doctor and see what she wants to do with that as well. All right. So the reason I need your help is my father has this. I don't really know what it is. He's been dealing with it for a few years now. It's not contagious. It's on his hands and I'm going to show you a picture of it. He can't get rid of it. He's been to many doctors. Um, they have no idea what it is. They They've done tests, they, he's tried different lotions, he's tried all kinds of things and nothing has taken it away. Now if he touches his eyes or like around his ear, it'll kind of like irritate and then within there as well. And I don't know what else to do, so I thought why not ask you guys, maybe someone has seen this, maybe someone's dealt with this, it's not eczema, it's nothing like that. It's painful and I feel horrible for him, so if you guys know what this is, leave me a comment down below if you've seen it anything would be appreciative the only thing that takes it away is steroids and you can't be on a heavy steroids every day because there's a lot of side effects with steroids so we're trying to figure it out so i thought i would reach out to the community and see if anybody knows what it is so if you do please let me know all right guys so that is it for this week's video i know it's not very long like i said i don't record everything there's moments that i record i'm gonna try to start doing more now that i feel better i want to get out at least once a week and start doing things so I have more content. Not even that, just to get out and be active, see the world and do stuff. So stay tuned for those videos. I am also going to be taking a trip to Colorado in April. Hopefully, don't know what's going on with the coronavirus. It's starting to spread not horribly yet but come april hopefully i can still travel we'll see what happens with that march got a lot of stuff going on kids got spring break coming up birthdays coming up so stay tuned for that as well if you like my content please give it a like subscribe as well also down in the description is my twitter my instagram my p.o box if you want to send mail you don't have to but if you want to send a letter it's down in the description as well also share this video to your social media Medias. It helps out to get the word out there. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate all of you guys. I have to say this last year has been crazy and I've gotten so much love. Yes, there's still trolls and hate, but I honestly don't even acknowledge them anymore. If I see a stupid comment, I just delete you. And if it's really dumb, then I just hide you from my channel. So you still get to watch and that's probably the dislikes are all my little blocked people there that don't like me. And that's okay. Everybody has their right to their opinion and I'm okay with that. But I want you to know I love you all and I appreciate everything that you guys do and the support and just the great comments so just know that so until next week guys love you all and have a great one